So basically, we got some nasty looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream. And these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah. At least, that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And? Any idea who was winning? Could you tell? The planet. The life stream. Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy, and that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow. What have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in. Like, all in. <laughs> Since time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we... Say no more! Let's ride, people! Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, Red. What's got you so excited? <laughs> I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. He can take you part of the way. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss it. And I should... <laughs> this here is Fango. He's taking quite a liking to you. Sure he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Thanks, Disney, for everything. The pleasure was all mine. And if you need anything else, just ask around the village. You're better off heading to the airstrip by Chocobo. You know, we should probably take a look at the town notice board. See if there are any jobs for us. Always yeah, fancy we find the hat as a bear. Hey, no time to dig around. Perish them! Don't forget to try some of them. Really. You know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, the wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition. But look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. And running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Birds, they love the sound of this here clanger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. My 
things have been so good to me, I ought to share the bounty with the neighbors. You must have made to get here. Batteries. Pippoli ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. Notice the howling stop. I wonder what changed. Exactly. Well, since the Republic's on the strap, Shenra all but owns the gas. 
birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Three flyers couldn't make it less, though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. That our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. That's a long way back to town. Careful now. Pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. 
Say good night, Pippily. <laughs> Since you're here, I need your help to become a true warrior. Please, guide me to greatness. I'm Sotetsu, by the way, with the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know? Telling everyone how you turned some state-of-the-art Shinra weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed him. Really? You have to teach me how you did that. Gotta make Zack proud, you know? He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days. And I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the Coalition called me a hero and the Captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please! I'm begging you! Wait. 
Me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course! I'll do anything! <laughs> Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple, meet me over there when you're ready. For Kane! Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along, see what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> Master. Strike swift 
Act untrue! Show me how it's done! <laughs> 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 Got more in you, cause that ain't gonna cut it. Right, I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zach told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Her body. Her mind. Start. By training. You're behind. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. And your quads. Got it. <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? What the? You get back. Let's do this. Yeah. 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 
inside a mushroom.
Established the very first Moogle Emporium way back when. Their seven children went on to open up branches all over the world, Koopo. Oh, I wish my Mooglets would take a page out of their book. <laughs> Please shop to your heart's content, Koopo.
So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member, so it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. If you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. <laughs> no money or materia required. Well, thanks, Sisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield. And under the tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just... I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud! Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all, but you might want to consider lowering your rates. I'll consider it after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? Three orbs, or two, two is good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude! Sure, take as long as you want.
needed something else, you know where to find us. Happened. Watch your feet. What am I gonna do about you? <gasps> wow, that's a smell. We should go. Now. Wait, don't leave. Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. <clears throat> so, what more do you need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of his stuff for me? What a sweet boy you are, staying behind for me. You'll be good to Torgan now, you hear? Did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torgan's pup. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's field are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. <laughs> 